and welcome back to Girl Talk. We are William Thomas Custom Jewelers, and later on we'll be talking about a girl's best friend. I bet you can guess what that is. It's all good stuff. Right now, though, we're meeting with Dr. Ashley Woyak. She's with Forward Natural Medicine. If you've been feeling a little overweight, a little fatigued, just not yourself, she might have some answers for you. We're talking about the thyroid today. Welcome back to Girl Talk. Thank you. Thank you for having nice me. To see you. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about hypothyroidism mm -hmm. and what are some signs that we can consider. Yeah. So hypo is when you have a low thyroid function. So the most common signs or symptoms are fatigue, so no energy throughout the day. Um, you have really dry skin. Maybe your hair is falling out, or it's just um, like thinning or, or dry. You are forgetful. I hear a lot of patients that have some brain fog. They have some digestive complaints, just not, not very regular. Uh, they can't lose weight. That's a big one I'm seeing. So some of the oh, most common. I feel like mm -hmm. there's a lot of Fs there. We're feeling yeah. fat, we're feeling foggy, yeah, exactly. we're feeling fatigue. <laughs> uh-huh, that's it, yep. Oh, forgetful. Yeah. Uh -huh. Forgetful, uh-huh, that's true. I should, yeah. <laughs> the seven Fs. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> you sound like an infomercial. Uh -huh. But I think a lot of people can relate to a variety of those yeah. symptoms. So it's important to find the underlying cause. And that's one of the things that you're yeah. so good at, is really trying to figure out what is happening rather than just treating the problem. Exactly. There's a lot of viewers out there that are potentially on um, birth control pills or mm -hmm. even hormone replacements. Yeah. Talk about the effect on the thyroid yep. if someone can relate. Yeah, those are really common. I have um, a lot of patients on either like oral contraceptive birth control pills or an IUD with hormones or like you said, the hormone replacement therapy. Unfortunately, um, those when you're on a hormone like that, it'll increase uh, protein in your body that actually starts to bind to our thyroid hormone, and then it, we can't use it. So you have these symptoms of low thyroid, but the marker that your doctor typically runs, a TSH, will be completely normal. So they're not checking for that at all. So mm. that's something to really be concerned so, about. So your thyroid's actually doing okay. It's mm -hmm. something that's sort of interfering exactly. with what it's producing. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. So a lot of us uh, encounter uh, stress in our life. Uh, can stress yeah. cause thyroid problems? Yes. That's another thing. Stress it releases a lot of cortisol. So it'll decrease the amount of thyroid we're making, and doctors aren't really checking that either. So mm -hmm. it can either be chronic stress, maybe years of a tough job or poor marriage or just bad diet, things like that, or it can be a All something home. acute. <laughs> yeah, or you know, if someone passes away, something, yeah. you know, that's something to, to think about why you might not be feeling the best. So, so you gave us an example of why, um, uh, how your thyroid can get interfered with. What about taking medication and it's not seeming to work? Yep. So a lot of my patients are on Synthroid or Levothyroxine or like an Armour, which is supposed to be a more natural one, but they can still have a lot of symptoms because doctors still aren't figuring out why, like why is your thyroid out of whack? And the most common cause for hypothyroid is autoimmune Hashimoto's. I think I've like maybe briefly touched on that before. So for some reason, your immune system is attacking your thyroid and causing symptoms. So if you're just given a, a thyroid medication that's not addressing the root causes and it's not, it might help you for a day or a month or a year, but eventually you're gonna feel bad again. Your doctor's gonna switch your dose or medication. Yeah. So and then you're just on more meds exactly. with the same problem. Uh -huh. Scary stuff. One of the things that you mentioned earlier is TSH, you mm -hmm. use the acronym about maybe testing it would yep. not find some of the problems that are existing. Exactly. So I guess explain what that is and then what's why is it not always the best indicator mm -hmm. of a problem even if the, it is tested? Yeah, I say TSH a lot because it stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. So it's um, a hormone from your brain that tells your thyroid to make th the hormone for us. And that's typically the main marker that medical doctors will run. So that's why most patients are familiar with it. That's They typically only run that one when realistically there's, oh, I run eight to nine more thyroid markers wow. because it doesn't give you a good idea of what's really going on. So, and like I said before, if you have Hashimoto's, the autoimmune, your TSH is constantly gonna be going back and forth. And so at that point you're just chasing a marker mm -hmm. instead of, like what else is going on? Mm -hmm. so. gotcha. My yeah. best friend again had mm -hmm. um, Hashimoto and it was horrible. She went through so much in one year with her body changing. Mm -hmm. um, what about uh, 
when it comes to low thyroid <coughs> system symptoms? Do you, should you ignore them? Should they be okay? No, and that a lot of people will just go years. They'll say, oh, mm -hmm. it'll get better, or they'll just keep taking different medications. Definitely don't ignore it. If you're not feeling well, that's your body trying to say something to you, and you don't want to keep getting worse to the point that you can't get better. You right. Know? So don't ignore it. You can stop mm -hmm. in. She's got a free 15-minute consult. Yep. Mm -hmm. I also saw you have some great video tutorials yeah. online with lots of good information, so check mm -hmm. out her website as well. Yep. Forward Natural Medicine on Excelsior Drive. We have more Girl Talk for you right after the break.